In this video, I'm going to cover the price action on the ES. Um, actually, I'm going to do it on the micro ES. The micro ES for um, the regular trading hours for Friday, August uh, 18th, 2023. As you know, guys, I have decided to make the switch over to the uh, ES as I believe that the price action, um, although not as exciting as the NASDAQ, admittedly, um, I, think, uh, I think it should be a little bit less frustrating, a little bit cleaner. So let's get to work, guys. Uh, let's start with the AM session from uh, 0830 to... Oh nine thirty 30 to 1200 which is the a.m. session so we opened up with a pretty healthy sized opening range gap which you can see here and what the a.m. session did was um, at the start of the open we traded we traded higher we came into uh, let me see here we came into yeah so we just came above 25 percent of the opening range gap we formed this candle here on the five minute chart at 0950 which is the 0950 to uh, 1010 macro we then ran on this rejection block here at 43.53 halves and price found uh, price found support, and then we, as price came back down to the consequent encroachment of that wick there, we found support. We traded higher. We took out the 0950 high and traded into a premium relative to the opening range gap. We traded to the 75% of the opening range gap, put in a high at uh, 81 evens, and then traded back down to the mean threshold of these two candles here, which is. Uh, a bullish order block so we traded to that bullish order block within the opening range gap and then we ran on uh, buy side liquidity we ran on this buy side liquidity and we drew up into the mean threshold of this order block here to the left uh, didn't quite make it there but we drew up to the mean threshold and see that we had a buy side Okay, now let's go for the low lunch session. So our AM session traded, made a low at, at the opening candle at 43.50 evens and made a high coming into the lunch session at 43.85 halves um, and re-delivered the opening range gap. So as you can see here on the regular trading hours, the opening range gap was uh, persistent throughout the day. So it was a factor throughout the day. Okay. So, then have a fair value gap here. So coming into the lunch session from 1200 to 1330, we had sell side liquidity, which was located here. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm actually just gonna uh, highlight it. So we had sell side liquidity located at 43.67 and the lunch session um, did not quite make it below that low, but we reclaimed that same order block. So you can see there that the lunch session reclaimed the same order block, so it tested the same order block twice. And then, guys, we had these, we had buy side liquidity, these relative equal highs up here at uh, 43.85, uh, three quarters. So. Anywhere in here, really, you had an opportunity to get long, and then you, you had a pretty clear target. So what was that? You know, up to 18 points. So 18 and a half points. That would be $925 uh, if you saw it. So the consequent encroachment of this wick was a good entry. Um, as well as noticing that this uh, was a reclaimed order block. Okay, so reclaimed order block. 
lunch session ran on this low here. Let's talk about the PM session. The PM session up into the close of the New York Stock Exchange. We ran on these uh, relative equal highs. We, are, we were trading above the opening range gap. And then if we have a look at this candle, take a look at this order block, the midway point. So we can see that price uh, had a bearish order block over here that, that respected. We formed a high at 1440, um, formed a high at four, uh, 4,388 evens after running these relative equal highs. We drew back down. And where did we draw to, guys? So this candle right here, we drew to that one. Notice that we came down to the 25% of this black candle, this order block. And then at the very end of the day, we again ran on our relative equal highs sitting above um, 43.88. So the PM session ran on buy side liquidity um, and that was that. So it was basically an up day. Now the last thing that I want to mention is that the thank God it's Friday model we go to our weekly range right here. Thank God it's Friday. Let's get down back to a 15 minute chart and notice that we did draw up to 25% of the weekly range. We drew above the 20% of the weekly range, drew up into 25% of the weekly range. Uh, didn't quite make it up to 30% of the weekly range. So I thought that that was worth mentioning as well. So, okay, guys, that was a review of the uh, Micro ES price action for Friday, August the 18th, 2023. I hope that y'all are doing well. Uh, I will be back, guys. I've switched over to the ES. Uh, I think it is going to be a good financial decision for me. Bye-bye.